All right. Hey, we're um, covering um, a really cool topic this morning that's been on my mind that I think will help out hopefully with your week and with my week also. Um, and I just declined a call from my mom so I could be here. So I will have to call mom as soon as I am done. <laughs> uh, we are bidding in Globe today, Sedona day, Phoenix today. It's a busy auction day. If you guys aren't bidding on auctions or know about auctions, hit me up. I want to teach you how to do it, how to buy uh, cheap properties at auction. So, okay, so the concept is called and it's called paralysis by analysis. Who's heard of paralysis by analysis? Um, interesting concept. And um, it's on my mind uh, quite often for whatever reason the past few days. So when you have paralysis by analysis, it's basically like when someone becomes so overwhelmed by the sheer amount of information or choices available to them that they're finding it difficult or impossible to make a decision or to take action. So it's like being stuck in a mental trap jam where thoughts and options pile up and uh, your progress stalls, okay? So imagine you're trying to choose a movie to watch. Um, my wife's great at this on Netflix. Um, seriously, <laughs> I just pick something to watch it because you know what? I end up falling asleep in about two minutes anyway, so it doesn't matter what I pick. Um, anyways, you're choosing a movie to watch and you browse through countless options. You're reading reviews, right? Considering uh, genres, the runtime, all these different options just going through your head. Um, all the while, you know, time's ticking away. And uh, eventually you spend too much time deciding what you're going to watch and you just end up not watching anything at all. And um, that is my beautiful wife, Elisa, to a T, is trying to pick something to watch. So that is definitely paralysis by analysis that is in action. So this phenom phenomenon, I think, you know, often occurs when there's so many choices, a bunch of choices of information leading to uh, decisions and it's called decision fatigue, or it could be called anxiety, especially in today's world where we're bombarded with endless options and data. It's becoming more and more increasingly common to get this paralysis by analysis. So um, this paralysis by analysis also can affect various aspects of life, of our life, from you know, our simple everyday choices to complex decisions in our work relationships, professional settings, um, it can be manifest uh, and, you know, as spending excessive time in researching a project or endlessly revising plans and just not making progress at all. So in our personal life, it could also mean um, hesitating to make important choices like our career path or to pursue um, whether or not to move into a certain city. So I always just say, choose a path and figure out how to love it. And if you don't love it, keep on the path and figure out how to love it, right? So that you are just moving forward. So anyway, so ways that we can overcome paralysis by analysis um, involves recognizing when it's happening so we can take steps to break free from it. Um, it, uh, it might also involve setting clear priorities, uh, limiting our options, setting deadlines, seeking advice from others. Sometimes it's about trusting right our instincts, which is more one of the most important things in accepting that not every decision needs to be absolutely perfect. We just need to be moving forward. So anyways, I think today, if we can understand the root that causes, um, the root of the causes of our personal paralysis by analysis and keeping and developing strategies to combat it, you know, we can uh, regain control over our decision-making progresses and move forward in confidence. So today, if you could focus on that with me. And um, I am excited to, you know, basically focus on this and just make decisions. They're not always going to be the right decisions. Um, and don't be, don't get, become frozen by them and overcome, you know, analyzing things and just being frozen because there's too many decisions. Just make a decision 
move forward, trust yourself, and uh, make it happen. Take action, right? Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Make it a great day. Let's uh, let's talk soon again. We'll see you tomorrow.